This is behind the counter at a local Japanese chicken shop. Good morning everyone, it is super early this morning, 4.30 a.m. I am in Gotanda Station and I'm taking you behind the counter at this local Japanese chicken shop. I'm super excited because they make fried chicken here and all sorts of other goodies. I can't wait till they open and be able to take you behind the counter in this one. All we have to do now is just wait until they open up. So I'm going deep into the kitchen of this Japanese family owned chicken specialty shop, Shinanoya. Opened in 1949, going back three generations and located just a three minute walk from Gotanda Station. Known by locals for their freshness and quality as they dress their chickens from the start of each morning to deliver the freshest chicken meat and dishes to their customers as possible. And fair warning to all, the meat is so freshly prepared that the faint of heart may just want to skip this video altogether. Now that you've all been warned, this shop's day starts in the dark at 5 a.m. Good morning! He's the delivery driver and usually is the first one to arrive. Before everyone comes in, it's his job to prepare the storefront and carry in all the deliveries. So how long have you been working here? <laughs> Damn, that's as long as I've been in Japan! Uh, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Now he moves all of the fresh chicken out of the refrigerator so the morning workers can start dressing them when they arrive at 6. That looks heavy. I guess this is his morning workout. What time did you sleep last night? Jeez, you don't sleep much then. <laughs> So the shop receives farm fresh chicken deliveries daily, refrigerating them overnight to bring out the natural umami from their bones and finally dressing them first thing the next morning, which produces an unmatched level of freshness and flavor when compared to machine processed chicken sold at the supermarket. Now 6 a.m., one of the workers starts grilling the chicken to keep up with the day's pace. How many yakitori skewers do you grill a day? That's a fair answer. So how long have you been working here? Oh, you have kids? How old are they? <laughs> Unlike their mom. So do you have time for a hobby? Damn, you've got to respect the hustle. So the shop has 15 workers dedicated to making this all happen. Although it's not the most glamorous job continuously dressing and cooking chicken all day, the workers take pride in their craft offering the highest quality chicken possible to their customers. Maybe in this video, I'll talk to a few more workers than usual and get their thoughts. Meanwhile, in the back kitchen, the poultry dressers skillfully cut apart the chicken for today's customers, working as a team to streamline the process, which pretty much happens all day to keep up with the customer orders. Hey, you cut so fast! <laughs> so how long have you been here? <laughs> oh, what did you do before? <laughs> Actor? Nice, what were you on? <laughs> Oh, I don't know that one, but that's so cool. He says that he only works the morning shift so he can be flexible for his acting jobs during the day. Is it hard to find a gig? Yeah, break a leg. It's so mesmerizing to see how quickly and efficiently they work, but make no bones about it, they have some serious work ahead of them, dressing 600 kilograms, 1,320 pounds of chicken each and every day. Oh, here comes the owner, Ishizaka-san. 39 years old and as a third generation, he's continuing on the legacy his grandfather built, officially taking over a few months ago while also working here the last 10 years. Ah, oh, good morning. Can I ask how old you are? Wow, 83? Damn, you must really love working here. No, I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> I see who's the boss around here. So as more workers arrive, the shop starts to cook their various sozai dishes made with their freshly cut chicken from yakitori to kuroke. Oh, 
Holy mother of mothers, their karage fried chicken is so majestic. No wonder it's their best seller. Apparently, the shop uses chiyu, a special type of oil made from their chicken, which uniquely enhances all that fried chicken flavor loveliness, even when it cools down. Hey, what's going on back here? <laughs> Apparently, they're stocking extra eggs as supplies are low in Japan, but it's cramped her usual working space. Wow, although the shop is still closed, there's already a customer just after 7. Uh, Hi, do you come here often? Oh, what did you buy? Cool, where's your shop? <laughs> 43 years? Damn, that's some serious loyalty. Ginger candy. Oh, nice, thanks. So, for more than 73 years, this shop has stood in the same location here in Gotanda, all the while serving and developing strong relationships with local businesses, with many of which rely exclusively on the shop's chicken meat to serve to their own valued customers. Oh, here's a daily farm fresh chicken delivery. At least now we know why the chicken crossed the road. Oh jeez, aren't you cold? <laughs> Apparently, she's retiring this month and says that before she used to perform multiple tasks like many of the other workers, but now she works on doing only the simple tasks. Oh, you're selling that? <laughs> That's a great deal. <laughs> Hi, you're the former owner, right? What was the key in making it so successful? He says that in his long years of running the business, he encountered countless irregular situations, which led to many learning opportunities. But through it all, he recognized that hard work and dedication to their customers was a key to their success. How was it for you when your son took over the business? He says that at one point, he thought his son was going to work in apparel, which would have meant the end of his family's legacy to hear, but was very pleased when his son decided to continue on the business. How did you feel about it? <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I see. So what are you going to do now that you have more time? <laughs> nice! It all started when his father's uncle, who owned his own chicken business, inspired his father to start his own shop, which became popular. And since he was the eldest son, due to Japanese culture, it was his responsibility to eventually take over the business. But when it was his time, he decided to give his son a choice, and was pleased when his son decided to continue on the legacy. Is there anything you changed from when your father ran this place? Does your wife work here too? Apparently, before they were married and had their two kids, currently four and two, his wife was excited to help in the family business and is now responsible for the office work and the storefront. So what do you do outside of work? Ah, oh, so his boardroom is in the mountains. Makes sense considering he went to a university in Hokkaido. Are you ever going back up? Before we continue on, I want to tell you guys about the awesome people at Booksu who also sponsored this video. I know that many of you have already signed up, which is awesome, but for those of you who don't know, they provide a gourmet experience of Japanese snacks, candies, and tea pairing delivered to your front door, working with century-old family businesses to provide you with authentic Japanese flavors. First time users will get a Seasons of Japan box like this one, and after that, you'll get a themed one. The first box is special because it's specifically designed to bring you a taste of Japan's four seasons, and lets you explore what a year of Boksu would be like. One of my favorites is the white chocolate strawberry, which first timers can also try. And if you like it as much as I do, reorder for yourself or as a special gift for someone. So get $50 off your own authentic Japanese subscription snack box from Boksu by using my code PALO and link in the description. Oh, that's the owner's brother-in-law preparing the deliveries. This is definitely a family business in the truest sense. Are you only responsible for deliveries? <laughs> is that a protein shake? <laughs> so you work out? <laughs> Dope. Does your wife work here too? <laughs> oh, why doesn't she work here? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. 
Before the store opens like a family, they all have breakfast together, called makanai, which is provided by the shop. And of course, they make it with their own fresh chicken. Finally, at 9 a.m., the shop opens with customers coming non-stop. The shop's fried and grilled chicken sozai dishes are so popular that items like their fried chicken menchi usually sells out before 10 a.m. So the shop is known for its umami-rich, juicy, and tender meat, selectively sourcing domestic free-range chickens called Daisendori and Shingendori, which remains unchanged since the shop was first opened. It's one of the reasons why many of its customers often say they won't shop anywhere else. At the same time, the meat counter on the side is getting busy as well. Let's see if we can talk to that customer. Wow, you bought a lot. What did you buy? So do you come here often? Nice. So what do you usually get? And why do you come here? I see, thanks. As she said, the chickens were alive less than 48 hours ago, so the intestines are extremely fresh, and this type of freshness is rare in the city. So what are you doing now? Even though the quality of the meat is the same, the shop spends extra time to hand select the most attractive pieces to offer and deliver to their customers, which is probably why the shop has built such a loyal customer base. Just after 11.30, neighborhood salarymen start to line up to get their takeout lunches as the shop provides various chicken donburi rice bowls, all of which are under $5. The price is so affordable that the kitchen must work extra efficiently in order to minimize customer line times. Nice, she's making the saboro chicken bowls, which is a savory ground chicken and scrambled eggs on top of rice. It's their best-selling item during peak lunch hours. How's business? Are you family too? The owner? So you've been here a while. Oh wow, what did you do before this? I see, how do you like working here? I see, and what do you like most about your husband? <laughs> A <laughs> good answer. So that's how a dedicated family with equally dedicated workers serves up some of the freshest chicken in Tokyo. And that's another one in the books. If you're interested in checking out this spot, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. So that is behind the counter at a local Japanese chicken shop. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button if you want to help support the channel. Check out the Tokyo merch, and if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.